identified seven most effective and also right now commonly used ones to build a more uh, resilient supply chain. So in general, it all starts with optimizing the inventory policies and improving the overall SNOP uh, process to really build up precautionary inventories and also to be a little bit more agile when supply and demand changes. Second one is really on transport network optimization and establishing more visibility through control towers in there. It's optimizing the carrier sourcing. It's not always the lowest price, which is used to be, but also the, the lowest lead times around that, but also playing around with uh, modes of transportation, uh, transportation uh, routes, utilization of your transportation means. So that, that's all something where visibility plays a pivotal role, but then also increasing efficiency around that. Third major lever is also more the dual sourcing and localizing your uh, supply chain and doing also supplier development around that. So identifying maybe not 100% perfectly fit suppliers at the moment, but really taking them to the next step, uh, level to really establish uh, them as a reliable second source, which is then really directly linked also to the cause lever is shorten the supply chain, try to localize as much as possible, do a little bit more nearshoring opportunities, and then also spread a little bit the over-reliance on a single geography or a single supplier. Then also something, also when it comes to labor shortages, which we see, especially in the supply chain, very often from in the transportation field and the warehousing field, one part is really thinking about automation. So using automated warehouse systems really to help the companies cope with their labor shortages and also to react to the volatile demands and really help them to improve fulfillment there. Six one is really price intelligence. Uh, so one part is thinking about how can I pass through increased costs to my customers, also to mitigate the overall cost inflation, but also rethinking the overall pricing mechanisms in your commercial contracts. Uh, and then the seventh part is because you can't do everything perfectly on your own, is really outsourcing, uh, trying to identify third party experts, which really can help you to drive out costs, but also having a special focus, for example, to keep and maintain your service level as this, this is their core competencies. And with these seven levers, you already tackle quite, quite a lot. But there are a couple of others, which definitely then needs to be tailored to the individual situation, but going in that direction already helps you and helps PE funds to protect their investment when it comes to supply chain crisis.